Yeah, so Morty has some crazy damage. This is a 59 damage true combo. And most of your damage comes from your grenades. So grenades are something you have to master while doing combos with Morty. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to use Morty's grenades. Is it's a really important tool that you need to master. Very similar to how Tom and Jerry uses Jerry's projectiles. As a side note, dodge during hit stun is on. So most of these are true combos. But as you'll see, some aren't. But still have some crazy damage potential. So first, let's explain how Morty's neutrals work. Gun by itself does 6 damage. You throw the grenade, shoot it, and hit with the explosion, it does 5 damage. You throw the grenade, the blast doesn't hit, but it still shoots the enemy. You get a measly 1 damage. But if you throw the grenade, you can actually punch it. It becomes a projectile, again just like Tom and Jerry, which does 6 damage. Finally, the most damage you can get out of this is if your punch lands, the projectile hit lands. You then shoot the grenade to get that explosion damage. You end up with a total of 13%. Even if that initial punch doesn't land, you'll still get 11 damage. Definitely practice this because this is the baseline for all the combos. So you can get used to the arc of the projectile and the timing of the grenades. So as you've seen in the opening clip, because Morty can throw 3 grenades, you can kind of triple the damage. After the grenade hits, we're following it up with a down air and then the up air, as it's one of your easiest combos to land, which outputs the most damage. And in this clip, if we shoot the grenades, we'll end up with that crazy damage of 59. This damage is great, but realistically, you don't want to be throwing three of your grenades at once. So here's a combo without using three of your grenades. As you can see, this is a true combo and does 27 damage. Of course, this does require the perk that's flammable dock, so we can get that extra fire tick damage. Your up air already does fire damage, so it should stack on top. So an easy combo you should be doing is that down air to the up air. That down air is kind of hard to land, so an easier opening is that aerial side special, where you create a portal and kind of masks your opening animation for your down air. The area side special is definitely way faster than just jumping straight to the enemy. And it's even faster than that dodge jump. So the aerial side special is a very good tool that you should be using, especially since it gives you armor. So again, if we put that all together, you can throw a grenade, punch it so it hits the enemy. This will trigger the It's Flammable perk. Portal in for your downer and then to the up air. And that's the combo. Now, as you notice, we didn't shoot the grenade, which if you are using the portal, it does make the timing a lot harder, but it can give you more damage out of this combo. Now keep in mind that this portal, even though it is on a cooldown, you still can use this ability. The portal just becomes smaller, which is only useful when shooting projectiles through it, as shooting projectiles through the portal makes your projectiles faster. So even though there's a cooldown, it's not a detriment to your mobility. Another really awesome way to use your grenades is with your ground side special. If you hit your grenades with the rock, it will split into two, essentially saving you grenade ammo. Instead of having to throw three out to shoot and get that max amount of damage you can actually just split it with the rock punch the grenade closer to you and shoot both of them the timing is pretty hard on this one so most likely you'll only hit the enemy with one grenade but in an ideal situation you can juggle the enemy with both grenades on both sides again we'll follow it up with the down air to the up air to trigger that burn damage with that that's all the combos that i found out right now i'm sure there's a lot more combos that we can think of and variations to the ones in this video so let us know in the comment section down below so we can try them out and let other people know. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one and peace.